What's going on here? I know it's your boy, Little T. Ah, uh, back in full effect. You already know how I'm rocking, man. Hey, man. Check it out, check it out, check it out. So, we got <gasps> Dave Chappelle being a savage for 10 straight minutes. That boy, Dave Chappelle, Chappelle, so Chappelle, so. Oh, comedy, 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 gas, 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 gas. I am what's known on the streets as a victim blamer. <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody come up to me like, Dave, Dave, Chris Brown just beat up Rihanna. I'll be like, well, what did she do? <laughs> and then the guy from the I mean... club came up and was like, hey, O.J. Simpson's here, and he said he wants to meet you. I said, what? Fuck yeah. I ran Fuck down the yeah. steps. <laughs> standing beside him. Well, I don't know the nice way to say this, sir. Uh, his soon-to-be slain wife. Ladies and gentlemen, man the fuck up or you're not gonna make it through the end of this show. Yeah, no bullshit. Just man the fuck up. It happened, bro. It happened. She's dead. You already know. We know what happened. Right. We don't know who did it, but we know what happened. <laughs> it's old, an old looking dick. He's got old looking dick. salt and pepper hair all around. Yeah. My dick looks like Morgan Freeman in the 90s. The shit was like international news. And everybody was furious. Especially in Hollywood. It's all over everybody's Twitter feed and Instagram page. Justice for Juicy and all this shit. What the hell is Juicy? It was real talk. I'm, I, didn't even, I didn't even know about dogs. And my kids got the dog. They I brought love them home dogs, from the shelter. And I didn't even want them. They were like, can we keep them? I said, nope. Hell yeah. That ain't even petty. I said, where did you even get this dog? They're like, we got him from the shelter. I was like, ugh. <laughs> we were supporting him with our silence. <laughs> because we understood that this nigga was clearly lying. Yeah, okay. I was on corn. I was like, well, I'm a big fan of your work. Which oh, this young Chappelle. Because right, right. that's not true. <laughs> the article goes on to say I was booed off stage, which is also incorrect. I was booed. I did not leave. Let Y'all him know, Dave. I did not leave. What is I'm doing an impression of? OK, here it goes. Uh, duh. Hey, duh. If you do anything wrong in your life, Duh, and I find out about it, I'm gonna try to take everything away from you. And I don't care when I find out. Could be today, tomorrow, 15, 20 years from now, if I find out you're fucking duh finished. That's you. <laughs> That's what the audience sounds like to me. That's why I don't be coming out doing comedy all the time, because y'all niggas is the worst motherfuckers I've ever tried to entertain in my <laughs> he wrote the Declaration of Independence and all that shit. We hold these truths to be self-evident. All men are created equal. <laughs> Go get me a sandwich, nigger. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my son was back then. I have another son that's coming. Look at the sandwich, I this kill you. Oh yeah. Yes, we're gonna have we're gonna have a swell time. Do they enjoy living? Uh, do, they, do they enjoy living in Ohio? Yeah, they don't know any different. Like they love it. They're, <laughs> If Martin Luther King had a sneaker deal, we'd still be on the back of the bus. <laughs> Martin, uh, we need you to tone down the talk of civil rights and uh, blacks being humans. It's, it's upsetting our southern distributors. Because I've been walking around Texas just touching doorknobs and shit, hands Why? all moist. Get <laughs> the niggas with cash here. Take this to your family. <laughs> I must have killed thousands of people just trying to get tonight's show together. So I hope you appreciate it because a lot of niggas died for me to get this one off. Yeah. Are you getting any people giving you shit about doing shows? No. No? no. Nothing? I mean, and even if I did, you know what I mean? Who cares? <laughs> me and my buddies went to a strip club. So my friends were getting married. Mm -hmm. And what better way to celebrate a marriage? <laughs> and if you want to meet with me, I'd be more than willing to, but I have some conditions. What's the conditions? You must admit that Hannah Gatsby is not funny. I don't so know what do that you is. think Michael Jackson is guilty of the charges against him? No, man. He made Thriller. <laughs> so you'd let your children sleep with him? Fuck no. no. Hey, what? How old are you, young man? You. I, I ain't let my kids sleep with no other man. What the fuck are you talking you about? Know shit. You don't know shit. You got Google shit that I lived through. Did you know that Planned Parenthood was for abortions? It's for people that don't plan things out at all. 
remember right around September 11th, uh, Ja Rule was on MTV. That's what they said. They said, we got Ja Rule on the phone. Let's see what Ja's thoughts are on this tragedy. Who gives a fuck what Ja Rule thinks? It's ridiculous. I don't want to dance. I'm scared to death. Who the fuck with Ja Rule think? Think? shit happens to me. I'll be in the crib like, oh my God, this is terrible. Because somebody, please. Find Ja Rule, get hold of this motherfucker, because I can make sense of all this. New York Times said uh, that Louis C.K. jizzed on his own stomach. What? <laughs> now, I've busted a lot of nuts in my day. None of them were newsworthy. All the Amish people around my way know me, too. Not from television, obviously. I haven't seen my friend call me. He was like, Dave. Having fun in Frisco? Hell yeah. Hell Jesus. yeah. No. <laughs> you want to go see Alcatraz? No. So what kind of nigga in his right mind wants to visit a prison for recreation? <laughs> Got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. <laughs> Same thing local busy jail. I gotta admit, that's probably the most niggerish decision I've made in a long time. <laughs> I walk in the doctor like, give me the third best option. I'll have what the homeless people are having. <laughs> have any women ever seen a guy that just came on his own stomach? This is the least threatening motherfucker the earth has ever seen. All you see is shame in their face and cum dripping down like pancake butter. <laughs> Americans generally... <laughs> Like pancake Come butter. dripping down like pancake butter. <laughs> pancake Americans butter. generally respect one another's <laughs> beliefs, even if they don't share those pancake beliefs. Butter. I know I do. I respect everybody's beliefs, except Amish people. Fuck all we did to you. Speed limit is 75 miles an hour in Ohio, and one lane of traffic is blocked by a goddamn horse and buggy. And I see them horse and buggies, I'll pull the Porsche over and talk to them. Arrgh! Ezekiel. <laughs> and he's not pride Dad, gay. Dad, why they let him finish? He's, he's sad gay. <laughs> Feel bad for him. He looks like one of them gays that prays about it. <laughs> Jesus, please take these dirty feelings out of my heart. <laughs> Jeez, make these buttholes ugly to me. <laughs> terrorists are smart. They know what they're doing there, you know. They're terrorists. They know black people's bad bargaining chips. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? We have got five blood. Hello? They make these buttholes ugly to said, me. Well, if that's so simple, <laughs> make me a pie and put my name on the top of the pie. Okay. Is that how that came to be? That's how it came to be. All right, I didn't know. I just knew that Donnell was happy about the pie. <laughs> what you, you, you put your dick in the pie or something? What's the moral of the story? That is correct. Oh, that Jones is correct. Was voted Woman of the Year. Her How? first year as a woman. Ain't that something? If I was in a BET Awards sitting there and they're like, and the winner for Nigger of the Year, Eminem, my man. Black people never feel sorry for the police, but this time we even felt sorry for the police. Can you imagine if you was a police veteran taking so this kid's police? So I always wondered that. Like, if you trans, right? Say if you trans, and you're like you wanna, you wanna, like, like say if you're a man and you transform into a woman, can you fight in the women's UFC or could you go to the WNBA? Like, say if LeBron was like LeBron, he was like, oh yeah, I'm trying to be a woman now, my nigga, and he go to the WNBA? Oh, he averaging fifty. At, at 40. He's, he's averaging 40 at okay, 40. Mr. Smoulier, please tell me what happened. All right. 2 a.m. In the house, 2 a.m. It's minus 16 degrees. And, all right. You were walking. You were walking. And, all right. All right. And, and where were you going? Subway. Sandwiches? <laughs> One lady said, Louis C.K. masturbating in front of me. What? Ruined my comedy dreams. Word. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I dare say, madam, you may have never had a dream. You know what this shit is like? It's like COINTELPRO. You know what that is? 
It's a program that the FBI had on J. Edgar Hoover. And this program, one of the many things they did was they would track the sexual habits of anyone they considered an enemy of the state. It was a little huh? thing. That's why they got all these fucking sex tapes with Martin Luther King fucking bitches. But lucky for us, he actually had a drink. I can't continue this movement. I'm sorry, but the freedom of black people... Martin Luther King got a sex tape? I didn't know this nigga was going to pull his dick out and jerk off like this. So we found out that life wasn't going to let us do that. And that it's impossible to shoot love out of your chest. <laughs> However, I have shot love onto somebody's chest before. Whee! I also believe if you decide to have the baby, a man should not have to pay. I believe in that shit too, bro. Now, I'm not even going to lie, bro. If I tell you, if you be like, I'm pregnant, and it's still time to get the plan B or abortion, you feel me? Oh, yeah, 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 baby. If I tell you I'm not ready, and you have that baby, bro, I'm sorry, bro. Like, like what the fuck? Like, I, I, I don't understand that shit, bro. Do you call me a DB dad? Like, obviously, like, even if I say I'm ready and you had a baby, I'm me personally. I'm still trying to make a way, you feel me? Because that's my fucking kid, and I ain't going to abandon my kid. But for a lot of other people, bro... And they tell you they're not ready, and you still had a kid, and then they leave, and then you get mad. I mean, bro, he he told you he wasn't ready. You feel me? Like that's like him nothing to you, and he want the baby, and then you say you you not ready. Of course you gonna get the abortion. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's that's my opinion on that shit. Oh, the video over here. But yeah, man, that's gonna do it for the video. Let me see your comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the vibe, man. Peace.